today we're going to be talking about symmetry using a ladybug and a dragonfly. The first question we have is what is symmetry? Symmetry is when one half of the shape looks like the other half of the shape. That could be the left or right side or the top and bottom of the shape. You can draw a line down the middle of a shape to show symmetry. When you fold the shapes along that line, one half will fit on top of the other half. Here are some more examples of symmetrical items. We have an apple, a butterfly, a heart, a ladybug, an arrow, a flower, a house, and an airplane. The left half looks like the right half. If you look at the image on the right, can you tell which one is symmetrical and which one is not symmetrical? The first bug we're going to look at for symmetry is a ladybug. Is it symmetrical? When you're looking at the ladybug, you can see that the left side looks like the right side. So that means it is symmetrical. Today we're going to be following a few simple steps to draw a symmetrical ladybug. Let's start drawing our symmetrical ladybug. First, we're going to draw a circle for the ladybug's body. I'm using a roll of tape to make it a nice symmetrical circle. Next, we're going to start to draw a line down the middle. And once we get down here, we're going to do a diagonal on either side. Now, let's draw the head of the ladybug. We're going to do a half circle, trying our best to make it symmetrical. Next, let's add the eyes. We're going to draw a circle on this side and a circle on this side. Let's add some black inside here. And on this side. Now let's draw our antennas. Remember, we're working on symmetry, so we want to try to make them look the same on both sides. This side, we're going to go up and over and add a little dot. Same on this side. Up and over and add a little dot. See how it's symmetrical? Now we're going to add our legs. Let's do the same thing on this side. best to make it symmetrical but we're not perfect so that's okay we're just trying our best now we're going to do another leg and then another leg trying our best to make it symmetrical but knowing that we're not perfect now our last legs Now let's add our dots. If we do a circle on this side, then we have to do a circle on this side. If we do a bigger circle on this side, we have to do the same size on this side. Now if we do a little one down here, we have to do a little one on this side.
on the more difficult ladybug drawing, we're going to start with a beginner one. This is one that I actually have a template for that I created and I am selling on my Teachers Pay Teachers. You can print this ladybug with the grass and then all your students have to do is add the legs, add the spots, and then add any details in the sky that they want. Now remember we're working on symmetry. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing our three legs on this side and three legs on this side. And we're going to keep them simple. Let's start with a line that goes up and across. Up and across. And let's do the same thing on these. Across and down. Across and down. Now let's do one down here. Diagonal and down. And then this one might actually be hidden by some grass. So you might have to hop over a little bit right there. Now let's work on our spots. You can choose how many spots your students do, or if you just want them to count how many they put on this side and copy it on this side, you can have them do that too. Let's start with one here. We have one and one. So if you do it to this side, you have to do it to this side. Now let's draw a big one and then a big one. Now a little one and a little one. Now let's do a medium and a medium. Maybe there's one that you can only see half and you can do a half here. And then let's do one at the bottom. There, now you can add any details in the sky that you want. Maybe you want to have a cloud. Maybe you want to have a sun, so I might actually draw another cloud going across my paper right here. And then I'm going to have the sun kind of peeking out over the clouds. You can add some sun rays if you want to. And now it's time to add your color. and big. And then the pupils. Leave a little white inside there and then fill in the rest of that pupil. Now we're going to add our wings. might be really long and go off of your page a little bit, and that's okay. Now we're 
now if you want to add any movement marks like this so it looks like your dragonfly is flapping its wings that adds a little bit to it you can even add some marks over here to make it look like it's moving forward to add some extra details to your dragonfly and to practice more symmetry you can design the wings of your dragonfly. So let's say you put three circles on this wing of your dragonfly. You're going to have to put three on this side also to make it symmetrical. Now on this one, maybe you want to add some wavy lines. wavy lines on this side, you're going to have to add wavy lines on this side. Now I better count. One, two, three, four. I did four wavy lines on that, so I'm going to have to do four on this side. There, now it's ready for some color. Now we're going to draw our symmetrical dragonfly using the template that I've created and I have for sale on my Teachers Pay Teachers account. Now we're going to draw first the wings of our dragonfly. We're going to start right here, we're going to curve out, and we're going to start here again and then we're going to connect to where we left off. Now we're going to start right here. We're going to curve out, but not as far as the other one. And then connect to this part from that wing. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Since we're dealing with symmetry, we want to try to make sure that these are going to be the same size. That looks about right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but we just want to be close. Now, let's do the bottom part. Now let's add some creative antennas. Then, since we're doing symmetry, we want to make sure that whatever we put on this wing, we put on this wing. So what I'm going to do is a creative design on the tips of the wings. I'm going to do that on both wings. Then, if you want to do stripes or circles or dots, you can add any creative designs. Just make sure that you're making it the same on both sides.